What's going on guys, Zerus here, and uh, in today's video I wanted to take a little bit of time off and make a relatively short video about uh, something I've been thinking about for a little while. You know, so um, I was on Twitter, you know, I was doing my, my Twitter thing, and, and I follow someone named uh, Brittany Renner, and the reason why is because uh, she's the first person who followed me on Twitter, so I followed her back. And uh, also, she's cute, and I, and I like looking at her. So... <laughs> One thing that um, she posted a little while ago to the time I'm recording my voice and uploading the video was uh, this one picture. Uh, she's a model, so she's getting ready for a shoot, and uh, she posted up this picture. Now, let me make this abundantly clear. I am about 99% sure that this is a joke, all right? So I want to make that abundantly clear that I am fully aware that Brittany Renner was uh, joking, but I want to talk about the sentiment or the thought behind the joke, okay? So what Brittany Renner said, and in the caption was, I can't cook for shit, but could we make things work? All right, so I wanna talk about that sentiment. Again, again, let me make this abundantly clear. Brittany Renner herself, she's probably just joking, all right? So I don't know her, I don't know her life, maybe she can cook, I, that, that, that's not important. It, it's not Brittany Renner here, it's the thought behind it. It's, it's the fact behind it, the fact that there are a lot of young ladies who, if we're going to be honest, get by on their nice asses or get by on the way they look. You know, the trophy wives that exist in our society. You know, a complete real lack of standards in womanhood that that men are apparently fine with. And, you know, and, and, and that's one thing that I, that's the first thing I want to talk about here. You know, um, of course, I'm going to sound like I'm bitching and everything, but uh, that's okay. You know, we want to get mad, get mad, I'm bitching. But why exactly, as men, do we let this shit slide with some of these young ladies? Why, why is it that we are willing to take care of these women who don't offer us anything, who don't do shit for us, who, who can't cook, who don't want to read to our children, someone who don't even want to have children, who don't want to talk to you, who don't even want to interact with you, they just want to take advantage of you? Why, why do we even put up with this nonsense, right? Because if we if we look on the flip side, I mean, women will, will have lists of things that, that men need to do for them. Women will have all these different things about what is a real man, what's a good man, what's acceptable. All these different standards of, of, of fatherhood and all these different standards of being a boyfriend or a husband. And yet we have women with this true mindset that I'm pretty or I got a nice ass. You know, or I got some big boobs, and guys are going to be okay with that. And, and they're right. So I want to understand, I want to talk about that. Why is it okay for some of these men to not even not only have standards for women, right, but to be perfectly fine with a nice ass, to be perfectly fine with just a woman who looks good or is attractive? Because to me, that seems totally asinine, right? It, it, to, to, to me, there's no way having a nice ass is going to be perfectly acceptable for, for a wife of mine, right? Like if my children are hungry, right? And I say, baby, baby, my, the kids need something to eat. Oh, just look at my ass. My ass looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, but, 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 but the children, they, they need some food to eat. Well, well, I can't cook. You knew this shit. You knew I couldn't cook. All right. Just look at my ass. That's why you married me. See, <laughs> you know, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we're going to have mothers raising children that, that have no skills to even pass down to their daughters and no standards of motherhood to pass down to their sons to pick for good mate selection and there are men who are willing to have sex for these women and some of these men just leave they they're just there for a night you know and, and and i mean of course we can talk about deadbeat dads but we already know that they're shitty people so and and i think maybe that's what it is i i, I don't think a lot of men are probably even actually investing in women like this and of course not there, there's no reason to because there's nothing to invest in except a nice ass or a pretty face. You know, if, and I see this a lot, you know, I, I read a lot of these different articles, a lot of these different comments of women talking six way to Sundays about how shitty men are today and how men need to man up and men need to do all these different things. And yet we slide on over to Instagram. Shit, you can find this on Twitter. You can find this on Facebook. We see these young ladies, you know, showing their boobs, showing their cleavage, showing all these, all these different things. They're advertising how sexy they are, but they're not advertising any qualities of being in a good relationship. They're not advertising their intelligence. They're not advertising humor. They're not advertising anything 
to be honest, that that's worthy of being in a relationship with a good man. They are not good women, so they don't really even deserve good men. But they think that they do. They think that that's perfectly acceptable and that that's fine that they be in this state. So again, I, I want to be clear. I'm, I'm, this isn't really about Brittany Renner, okay? I, I don't know Brittany Renner. It, it, it's, a, it's a joke from her. But I, I want to focus on the real sentiment that there are young ladies who really think that they're fine just being sexy, that they're just fine being attractive, and they have these expectations of men, of men to give up these different things, to fight for them, protect them, to provide for them, when they don't bring a pot to piss in. And it's very interesting to me how I can say this, I can, I can make this video record my voice, and that there will be some, some guys and some girls who will be upset with me because I'm saying that women should be held to a higher standard. They'll be upset with me because I'm saying that it shouldn't be enough for a man that a woman just looks good. It shouldn't be enough. And I'm not saying that a woman woman's only role is to cook. Of course, that's the joke. But I mean, it's more than that. You know, to, to, to be someone who, who comforts her children when they're upset or who comforts a man when he comes home after working really hard. You know, that, that feminine aspect of being kind and nurturing and, and helpful and emotional and helping people understand things and calm men down. I'm not saying that women's job is, is to, to, you know, like tame the beast or anything like that. But hopefully you guys understand. Actually, you probably don't understand because you haven't met very many feminine women, have you? Let's be real. How many men have had these, these female friends or have had mothers or even sisters who exude that level of femininity to help them with their emotional problems by reciprocating the expectation that men listen to them talk by women allowing men to be vulnerable? Not a lot. And if you are even vulnerable with a woman, well, then you may as well just stop trying to date her because it's fucking over. Because a lot of young ladies do not respect vulnerability in men. So, so there, there's no balance of femininity that allows for a man to be vulnerable when he needs help and to be the strong protector when he needs to be because women don't even respect that quality in men. At least you end up in the friend zone. Yeah, they'll be friends with you, but, but they'll be damned if they, if they date you because it's, it's weakness to them. Where, why, why, and, and, I, and, I, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because Again, it's not Brittany Renner. It's the sentiment. Again, I, I want to be clear. She's on the screen, but I'm really talking about the sentiment behind this, that women, they genuinely do expect this. And this is part of why I make the Attention Horror Chronicles, to help other young ladies expect more from themselves, that you shouldn't try to aspire to be an attention whore or to be a big booty model, that you should aspire to be a woman of quality for a man of quality. How is it that you can expect providers and protectors even feminists expect this from men how is it that we men have so many expectations on us and if we fail to meet those expectations even if we cry i, I just watched another video of the drunken peasants making fun of the vigilant christian for crying you can't even show vulnerability to other men all these expectations on us men to do x y and z but if i just me making this video right now is going to piss off some young ladies or some white knights me even saying that there should be more to a woman than just her looking good. That's sexist. That's wrong. But the expectation that I should protect you or I should provide for you will always be there for women, feminist or not. Why is it wrong for me to have expectations of young ladies? Why is it wrong for me to make the attention whore chronicles and say that as a woman, you should expect more from yourself than just be some sexy icon? Why is that wrong? We can lambast deadbeat dads. We can lambast guys in their basements. We can lambast guys who play video games. But the moment we start talking about how it's not acceptable for women to walk around like sluts, it's fucked up. It's messed up. It's a problem. Why is that? Why do we have these expectations of men? But the mere, the, the, the mere thought that having an expectation for a woman is sexist and misogynistic. That makes no sense. That it's, 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 it's absurd to me how these women can expect good men, but they can't even make spaghetti. They expect you to go to war and fight for them. Can't even make a nigga a, a sandwich. And of course, this is not saying that that's a woman's role. That's her job to always be supportive. 
What I'm saying is that you should have expectations of yourself to be more than just someone with a nice ass, to be more than just someone who looks good. You should, you should want to be more than that, ladies. It shouldn't take some nappy head nigga to say you should expect more from yourself. It shouldn't. Especially if you have grandiose expectations of the men you want in your lives. You expect men in your lives to make all this money. But if I expect you to raise my children, I'm fucked up. Does that make any sense? And I want to throw that thought out there, man, you know. So I, I try, I'm trying to make this video not too long. But it's just something that's been on my mind. I think it's really messed up that, that we men all have these different expectations. That we have to meet, at least we be lambasted. Even if we show vulnerability, even for some other men. But this is perfectly fine for women to show their ass on Twitter and Instagram. But I'm the fucked up person if I make a video series about how women should expect more from themselves. So that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, have a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios.